Nick of Street Pass Princeton, and I'm back with another episode of Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds, and I just love this game a lot right now. I haven't played Zelda in a while, so I'm getting, I'm getting hooked. I have to say, this is awesome. So, I gotta keep going. Like I said earlier, um, I needed the boomerang in order to get by, so we're gonna be using the hammer a bit more in order to pop myself up here. But this is not gonna be fun. Oh, I hate those things. Just walk away from them. Just walk away. Okay, good. Alright, so now I've got to switch to Boomerang. Actually, you know what? Duh! Just walk over. Um... Alright. Why didn't I think about that earlier? Why did I have to run a Boomerang? I feel so silly now. I get to that. You know, even though this game does feel like it's too much of a nostalgic kick in a way, I do like how it takes the old and makes it new. So, you have to admit, it, this game does it very well. Uh, that crow's dead. So, can't really do anything on this wall right now. Killed that stupid... Oh, wait. Right, gotta do this. I actually remember this from playing uh, e at A3. I remember this little kid came up to me, and he was like, Did you go inside? And I was like, yeah. And this, the man who was, this, who was, I guess the father, was like, Did you get to play the new Zelda game? And I was like, yeah, I did. So, I had a really great time. I was talking with Abdallah on the possibility of actually going to E3 with him, because he was interested. And I was like, yeah, I can get you into it. I can help you with E3. Um... Shouldn't really talk about it too much about getting into E3 because it's not easy to get into E3 and there's a lot of things that you have to do if you want to get in and you have to know people basically and that I'm not going to say who I know because I don't want that person to be revealed necessarily. I don't want people to bother him. Um, so anyway, over here making our way back home. I really liked E3. It was a lot of fun. I definitely plan on going back again. Okay, so when is this block going down? Okay, it goes down. It goes up. Alright, fantastic. So, now we are here. Gotta get this thing. That's right. You can't hide from me. Alright, and... Switching too much. You're too much for me, pal. And I feel like I know what the uh, boss is gonna be. It feels pretty predictable in a lot of ways. We got five rupees. What a no, that was not a find. Oh, I know what to do here. Um, we have to stand on the thing and move from here. Alright, so we're back out here. God, this thing. I actually haven't gotten that far when I was playing at E3. But then again, I was kind of just in the mood to play for like five minutes. There were people that literally like hogged the game forever. I just don't understand. You're playing the game as like a little taste to like see what the game is like. You're not trying to beat the game in E3. What is the point of doing that, you know? I really don't understand those people. Those people can screw themselves because they shouldn't be playing the game to, to beat it to completion. They should be playing it as a sampler to understand how the game is. What? Did I seriously just fall there? Alright, so that's what we have to... Oh, I think I fall again. So let's start over. What the hell? What do I do there? Okay, so I don't. I think we're in trouble here. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so. Let's go on this platform again. And, uh. Let's see what we can do. Can I change the camera view? No. 
I die? <laughs> I keep falling. This isn't good. Are you serious? I can't get through that part of the brick. How can I not get through? I am so low on health right now, it is not even funny. So, there's no way to get through there, is there? Or is there? Hammer, maybe? I don't know. I died again. I obviously have to get to the other side, but... How? They're not giving me much of a hint. you think they would tell you something to do. Not quite. So... Oh wait, I got an idea! Oh god, I'm gonna die! Okay, so I have to wait to regenerate my meter again, because that depleted a little too quickly for my liking. Okay, let's wait till it comes back down. Run! Run like the wind! Okay, come on. Gotta love these, like, elevators. They're pretty damn cool. So, oh no. Definitely not be overlooked just because of the nostalgic factor. Factor. Okay, let's see what happens when I do that. Fantastic. And I don't have bombs here, of course. Which probably would be. Oh wait, maybe the hammer. Okay, so the hammer is useful there. Okay, so I'm thinking I have to somehow fall through. Here we go. And a small key. It's funny because when I played this three, I guess my mind was like everywhere and I wasn't thinking straight about how to beat the puzzles. So I guess this is why I'm playing much better now. Fantastic. Okay, so that leads there, and I'm in another locked room. I don't have a shield. Just run away. I think that makes it go up. Okay, so gotta wait till the elevator goes up again. Go up. Fantastic. Oh no, not again. Go up. momentarily. I'm guessing it's on this side. Okay, so looks like we'll be versing the boss now. And I think I can take a wild guess at what this boss is just by the smaller enemies. Okay. Oh god. Alright. 
Alright, so, oh, who guessed it? Moldo, oh, what is it called? I can't even remember. Is it gonna tell me? No, it doesn't. You gotta hit the tail. That's the key. Watch out, though, because it moves out sporadically once you start hitting the tail. It just goes faster and faster. And it likes to bump you up. And it's a real pain in the butt. So, keep dealing with it. Seriously, just do that. Okay, I need the hammer again. So I need to rent it. I will make sure that I take great care of your hammer, sir. So, I really want to beat you. Ah, Scarecrow. Gotta ring the bell to go back to the Tower of Hera. Thank you, Irene. Once again, you are a lifesaver. Okay, so... Looks like I'll be making my way back. Oh, I gotta equip my Y button. Forgot, I, I lost it. So, let's go into the light, and it looks like I will warp forward to the sixth floor. Better than being, like, dead last. So, here we go. Jump up. Okay, and we'll do this from here. Alright, that's good enough for me. So we jump up again, and we use this little elevator. That's good for me. Thank you. Actually, I can't use it there. So try again. Jump up! Yes! Alright, so... I'm gonna hammer my way up here. Hammer again. Jump up. Get some hearts. You know what? It's probably better to chicken out um, in order to get by here. And I have to verse the thing from the very beginning. I feel so embarrassed that I lost uh, this thing. This kind of reminds me of Volvagia for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, so this thing's getting faster and faster. Faster and faster. Gotta be careful. Ah! So this thing is it's like a freaking rampage. Okay, this thing is just gonna it's not gonna stop until it's gonna we gotta be careful here. I think I got it. Or almost. Oh god. Tricky when it's so moving so fast. Uh, I think I got it. Yes. Looks like I beat the boss. I'll say. It looks like we can drop down for the heart piece. I guess. Fantastic. Or not. Replenish the heart. Pearl thing. It makes you all powerful. Nice description. So the the pendants do kind of remind me of like the little the rubies and such. So we're gonna be going to town first. I 
do appreciate it. I really do, Irene. You're fantastic. So... Gotta wait for the slowdown to end. Or not, and... Bounty of the castle. The Jedi Joe. Actually, we'll banish him. Yes. You won't be able to... Oh, no, don't banish him. Bridge. Sanctuary. Guam. Okay, so I'm gonna battle Guam real quickly. Um, I actually do want to update my screen pass data. Okay, so let's uh, set up. Let's change it. So that way we can reflect a little better. So we'll have the hammer on. Yes, let's save those changes, actually. So, fantastic. I'm saving the changes. So, looks like my knee has been a little bit better. So, um, I'm going to go to the sanctuary now to battle Kwa quickly. And then I'm going to pretty much save the game and quit. I am tired. Okay, so... Up and over. Oh god, no, not these things. You gotta love these uh, guards. They love to make things hard for you. I think Quaz is over here. Yep, yeah, that should be Quaz me. It's Brian. Okay, uh, I guess I'll first Brian's me then. Or Brian's, uh. Okay, so Brian's got a decent bounty on his head. down much in health. Uh, come on! Come on, Brian, go down. Come on, Brian. Just die already. Come on, Brian. You're serious? You're fucking serious? <sighs> Damn it. Lost. Of course I lost. Okay, so where's Quasmi? He's supposed to be at the sanctuary, isn't he? Anyway, I'm gonna end this video. Um, oh wait, we got Quasmi. So yeah, let's, let's battle it, actually. I think it only has three hearts. And a bottle. Interesting. <laughs> Falls down and loses half a heart. Victory! You beat Link. And I got a bounty 50. That helps me a little bit. Final foe with a hammer. Anyway, guys, uh, I think I'll be ending the video now. You know the drill. Like this video, leave a comment below, and do not forget to subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Our next event will be Mario Party Island Tour. Link will be in the description below. I want to thank all of you once again for watching, and this is Nick of Street Pass Princeton signing out. See you guys later.